a pretty good one too. It's pretty clean so far. <coughs> Looks like it got sinked just a little bit small. It's like at twenty five percent instead of thirty RGB. <laughs> I guess we'll have to call that that. Mm. Well, that'd be safe to say. Ha! You missed it again. <laughs> Let's ah! just. Why don't we just, uh... Let's... Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. Oop. Okay. Ah, ah, ah. Whoa! Where did you go? <laughs> there, there's some of you. Oh, here it is. Okay. There. Okay. Good. <laughs> this little box represents the Bally computer, little cheap home computer. This, uh... How many K does this guy have? I don't know. Okay. I don't pay attention to that shit. This little box represents the audio tape recorder, which records computer data out of the little home computer on uh, audio cassettes. Uh, this box represents the image processor, right here, yeah, analog cool. computer, which processes video signals, developed in Chicago by Dan Sandine. This is a user-built instrument. That's a little camera that you're looking at through right now, this, this camera. Okay, and this other little camera is what you're seeing. <laughs> that one. I know. Oh, okay, you that's this camera. You weren't keeping up. This is this camera. Right. Okay, now the Just picture that we did previously <laughs> is now, is now came, we, we brought it out of the audio recorder into the valley where I can stop and start it and add some other things at the end. The signal is coming out, going into the image processor there and the camera images are coming into the oh. image processor and being processed through what we call the patch here's the patch <coughs> through the there's Jane's picture modules the patch. which uh, process the video signals combine them add oscillator patterns oscillator patterns oh oscillator patterns <laughs> yes yes uh, other channel os there, there we go is. all that stuff mm -hmm. okay and now this all results in the the final output. Scanning two to one interlace here on the TV. Nice, Phil. Oh, <laughs> spiffo. <laughs> well, what do you think? That was all right. Yeah, it'll do. Yeah. Snap on in a deadly definitive way. No slop at all in them. Right? Left. I don't hear anything. Oh, I do now. Okay, well this one here is an example of a cartoon series that one of our uh, 
uh, users uh, put together. Actually, his wife did it. So people actually make their own scenarios, cartoons, or what have you, and transm that transmit them to their friends, huh? Right. Uh, not only cartoons and, and things like that, but they do things like play chess and checkers on the radio, or they uh, exchange uh, schematic diagrams. Uh, one uh, station I know of uh, does uh, quite an elaborate weather uh, report, complete with uh, weather satellite pictures, which uh, he receives straight from the satellite. And... Um, that kind of thing. Two black cats on a black rug. <laughs> the end. Yay! <laughs> bravo, bravo! <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. Let me see if I can race that tape back to give you an example of uh, one of our uh, customers overseas. see uh, Soulscan TV has a lot of room for play. <laughs> Why don't I take that light back down then you'll get some decent pictures. Oh, okay. One of the aspects of Soulscan TV that makes it uh, a popular form of uh, amateur radio is the fact that uh, uh, all members of the family can get involved. Uh, it's not a, another radio with strange looking dials and knobs that no one understands but uh, um, instead, you have a, a lot of activity involving artwork and signs and graphs and, and studio type uh, work and that kind of thing. And, and uh, quite typically, the uh, entire family gets involved. Just let it sit on the sign. <laughs> yes. 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 <laughs> How about that? He was pretty bad on CB radio. Ham TV is going to be terrible. Right. <laughs> Looking pretty good over here. Well, Jim, 
Uh, you mentioned something about rain, and so I thought I'd run and get my rain hat just to make sure that uh, we didn't get wet here at the shack. And I have to say that uh, I've got one up on you. You may have your wife planting potatoes, but I've got mine outside seeding the lawn this evening. <laughs> okay, looking real good. So uh, let's turn it back there to uh, Juan Valdez and see what he has to say about his coffee field. K9KTH, WAWDQ. WAWDQ in the group, K9KTH. Well, I had to get out of that. I'll be back to it directly when I get back down to Mexico. Uh, very good. And Dwight, you're looking good tonight. And uh, I don't know, I think we ought to get Janice and Susan in here. We need, uh, we need some female companionship on ATV. So, uh, very good. Uh, KB9FO, K9KTH, you there, Henry? Sure enough, Bob. And uh, I'm looking for your, uh, for your Tijuana taxi in the background. Uh, where are you going to uh, bring up the, uh, your Tijuana taxi? You know, the little thing with the uh, funny uh, antennas on the uh, top and the camera up on the hood. Have you got that uh, set up for us tonight? Uh, it's it's here. I haven't got it set up yet, <laughs> but uh, we're working on it. Okay. Well, uh, let's see. Who who else do we have? Do we have any breakers? Uh, WB9MJF. Uh, go to the live camera, uh, Bob. WB9MJF, K9KTH, uh, go to the uh, the one without the uh, test pattern and uh, your audio is better. Go ahead uh, with the uh, the camera without the test pattern. Break. Go ahead, break. Uh, hey, I think we got a bandito. Was it, is it a frito, frito bandito? Goes along with your purple shirt. <laughs> WB9HKG, WAWDQ. Jim, I think you were lying to me. It's starting to snow in here. Uh, you guys are nuts. I tell you, with all these silly hats and things, I, I won't be out done, though. I think it's starting to hail. <laughs> I'll be well protected. Over to you there, Bob. K9KTH, WB9AKG. Break. K9, KTH, and WD9, GLJ. Hey, you forgot the, uh, the your space helmet there, Rex. Uh, I don't know what we got here, but uh, uh, I think I think you uh, you lost your hat there, uh, uh, robot. K9, KTH, from WD9, GLJ. How about now, Bob? That's okay. This is a recording. Sounds very good. Yeah, we're getting ready to go to Mexico here. I'm, uh, you know how these Shriners get out and blow their, uh, toot their horns there on, uh, on these uh, shindigs they have. So uh, we're getting ready to go to uh, Mexico. Okay, Bob. We will do. See if you do. <laughs> okay, we'll pass it to, uh, well, let's see, WB9AKG to take it. WB9GLJ. Okay, this is K9. This is K9 KTH in uh, Juarez, New Mexico, getting ready to go down over the border, and this is. Uh, this is Poncho back here, you know, the Cisco Kids uh, sidekick. That's Poncho back here eating these fritos. Well, Cookie Monster, haven't you got any sound? Yeah, I got lots of sound. You're going to give me pizza, huh? <laughs> uh, my name is not Cookie Monster. No, let's see. Looks to me like uh, maybe we got two, uh, two Mexican federales here, eh? <laughs> What a queer you. <laughs> you my mouthpiece, huh? All right. <laughs> this is uh, Otto here. My name is Otto, and I just love these TV cameras. <laughs> ah, that was good. Uh, you, got, uh, you got maybe uh, burrito, huh? 
si, senor. <laughs> I didn't know Cookie Monster. Uh, 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 what, is it, what was that name of that? Uh, I didn't know the Cookie Monster um, ate cameras. I thought he ate cookies. Okay, Henry. Uh, WB9AKG. Uh, Ron hollered at you there a while ago. I don't know, but uh, turn it back over to you, and uh, let's see if you've got Janice in the picture yet. WB9AKG in the group, K9KTH. K9 KTH, the group, WB9 AKG. Oh, I could get her. Come here. I'll put her, I'll put her down here. She said she didn't want to talk tonight. Uh, <laughs> she's been busy working in the garden. See, her four calloused hands, four bleeding fingers. Oh, she's tired, Bob. She, uh, yeah, her, her knees, her knees are hurting. She's been out there planting those potatoes, you know. And uh, she didn't. She didn't hear. Uh, she didn't hear uh, uh, Henry say that his wife was planting strawberries tonight. And Brad's got his wife out uh, uh, seeding the, the lawn. So uh, yeah, I don't feel near so bad making you go out last night working in the dark. Well, anyway, you've seen her now. Okay, we all let her go. She. She. <laughs> uh oh, watch out! I got You get. You're getting more there than I do, Bob. <laughs> oh. Okay, we'll turn it over to Henry there. KB9FO, WB9AKG. Okay, fine business. Well, I'm just trying to uh, get some of the rest of the plan here. And uh, you know how it is. <laughs> Sometimes, uh, you get, get auto over here. Sometimes, uh, you can uh, get the rest of the family in here. Right now, they're in, uh, playing with uh, Chucky in the uh, bedroom. And, uh, well, you know how it is. <laughs> Sometimes the family likes to uh, get together, but they're in there playing, and the kid's just having the ball right there. And he's just in the water here, just trying to figure out what this thing is. It looks like a big uh, chrome lollipop to him. But, uh, <laughs> they're just having some fun, you know how it is. So everybody's got good signals in there tonight. I like Bob's purple shirt. I, I've seen some good shirts on people, but uh, that purple shirt is just something else. I mean, it's just enough to make your eyeballs bug right out. Okay, KB9FO on the group, K9KTH. Well, there's an awful big eyes on uh, the cookie monster there. And uh, I don't know, we saw a glint of something there uh, with Dwight. I don't know whether we should go back or not. He was holding that doll, but uh, I'm not quite sure what it really all meant. And then, Dwight, you can turn it down to Rex there. WB9TLH in the group, K9KTH. First time we've ever seen any uh, actual transmission. I've never seen ATV working at all, and so this is this seems like, it seems like a real good piece of evidence as to what it looks like. The only thing it seems similar to CB to me. Hey, it seems there's, like there's six there's or eight just, people here just jamming around from one to another. Is that yeah, there's about 15 guys all together, but there were about seven or eight guys on that night. But they show each other schematics and they talk about. Uh, Various projects, and you know, they do a lot of things. Mm -hmm. uh, they're just kind of hamming it up on this one, uh, trying different hats on, and, and they got that Poncho and Gonzalez show there. <laughs> yeah, I saw that happen. <laughs> so is this is this uh, within Indiana where this was taking place right yeah, now? That was that was taped off of a repeater in Bloomington. That's been in operation down there about a month, and they're on there every night. Is that right? Oh yeah. 
Wow, wonderful. Mm, wonderful. I'm impressed with the clarity. I expected to see a lot more snow and a lot more noise in the image constantly. Well, see, some of those guys are 15 miles away from the thing. And, uh, and area, some are closer. Well, some are only five or six miles. Uh -huh. But some, uh, uh, the terrain in that area is very hilly. So that the, the topography makes a difference. And some of these guys are DXing, talking 350 miles away, not on a consistent basis. But, you know, they get through and they, they'll have... Uh, uh, this picture kind of, also? Oh, sure, absolutely. 300 miles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. sure. That's, that's pretty gonna, good. The one that's going into Chattanooga is going up on Lookout Mountain. Man, they'll have a line of sight for 100 miles. Mm -hmm. No problem. And I wouldn't be surprised to hear some of those guys working people in Texas, you know? Really? With real-time television, not slow scan. Uh -huh. you know? Well, this certainly is much more interesting to me than the slow scan stuff, simply because it's... Well, it's see. now. You know, you don't have to wait right. seven seconds right. for something to happen. And you yeah. can move around without it, you know, without the guy disappearing uh -huh. from view. Oh, hey. Now we want that cross eye from the Windy City. Hey, you got a cross eye from the Windy City. Go ahead, your turn. Well, fast, are fast. you, uh, what are you going to do, tape the whole I thing? Think, well, no, not a whole thing. How are we doing? Do you think we should have I some more? I think we have enough. Okay. okay, okay. We got about just a little bit more tape. Okay, here's the antenna on my amateur television studio. Coming up is the little receiver transmitter, little box. You can buy it and plug it in, be ready to go. Here's the porty pack camera, little microphone, my color TV. Connect these guys all up and get ready to receive and transmit amateur television. Hmm. 
think I want to do this one over. I think I want to show the satellite. I think I want to show the repeater, the computer at my terminal, the computer at the repeater, floppy disk, frame store. I want an airplane with a color camera pointing out the window just like Tom O'Hara's. Uh, okay, and when we get to the end of this, then we're going to look at the uh, vectors used in the array. Print that out on the screen and then we'll dump out on the screen all the data that would be normally going on out if one were to store this picture. Two to one interlace. Fast scan TV. Okay, here's the number of vectors used in the array. And now we'll print on out the data.